Hey there everyone, this is Danielle playing some more Super Mario Odyssey Superstar Mode. This sounds better to wave with, I didn't realise which was which because cameras are weird. <laughs> uh, last time we got to the Sand Kingdom, we got three moons here. Probably the easiest three moons that are on offer. <laughs> um, you'll notice there aren't any moons in my hut up the top there. The reason for that is that I cashed those three moons in in order to go back and show a friend what I had to do in the first two kingdoms. Um, so we haven't got any more moons yet off camera or anything, I was just demonstrating the stuff I'd already done. Uh, but we still need to find another 13 moons here, and I think it's going to be pretty hard. So uh, let's just do a quick warp over here and see what we can find. Can I just have a quick look? I want to see if this is going to be possible. Um, in like a speed run of the normal game, you could get that bullet down there from the cannon uh, to fly over to that platform and you can get on top of the platform. It's a little tricky, uh, but that might be a good way to get a moon relatively easily if I can pull it off. Uh, let's have a look and see if it's possible. Oops. Well, that's not a good start. <laughs> um, let me just walk back up and try again. <laughs> also, I need to um, make a separate projection of just the game so I don't have to look at my face too much. There we go. Um, I'm using my Elgato here, uh, and I'm just using OBS to see what's happening in the game. Like, I don't have a separate uh, TV at all. Uh, so I'm basically just telling OBS, hey, show me what, what you're getting from the Elgato, please. Oh, jeez. I keep forgetting that that counts as sand. <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay, uh, come here, bullet. You have to actually start over here because you have to lead it around that first bit of the ledge for this to work properly. Ah! Yeah, so that's the basic idea, but you got to do it a bit better. <laughs> I'll give it a few tries. Uh, if we can't pull it off in just a couple tries, I'll probably just go and do something else. I think it may actually have been adjusted a little bit in height so that it's not possible to do this. Nope, I just did it in two tries, so it's definitely possible to do this. Okay, so yeah, the way you're supposed to get to the Jaxi Ruins in normal play is you go down that hole over there in the sand that's now lava, and at the end of that passage, there's a pipe that leads you up here. Da -da. Yeah! What you can actually do is what I just did. <laughs> it was a lot easier than I was anticipating, actually. Uh, so that's done. Uh, let me see here. Can we get into the ruins proper as just Mario? You're supposed to, like, get a Jaxi and bring them over here, but I might be able... Oh, that looks pretty far. I'm guessing the answer is no, but I, I want to try now that I've suggested it. That wasn't a good start. <laughs> uh, I'll, give it, I'll give it one more shot, but I have a feeling we can't do it. I, I think it's been modified to make it a bit harder than it normally would be. Mm. And honestly, I'm not sure if it's even possible in the first place. Okay, uh, well, we got that moon, so that's a good start. Let's warp our way back to the sand pillar. Uh, there we go. Oh yeah, by the way, uh, I looked up, like, the specific rules of how Skellix intends you to play this game. You're not supposed to require multiplayer uh, or assist mode, or taking any damage. Damage boosting is not supposed to be required. So, uh, all the damage I've taken so far is not, like, an intended way to do things. It is me doing things wrong, which is interesting. Oh, oh I thought they wouldn't shoot because I was right next to them, but I was wrong. Ah, 
Ugh. Yeah, I'm expecting it to work like uh, bullets do in the original Super Mario Bros. If you're right next to them, they will not fire. What the heck do you want me to do here? I'll look at that in a bit. <laughs> <laughs> Got a moon. Okay. Uh, I'll have to redo that to actually get to the top of the 2D area. Um, but for now, let's just continue and see what, what lies in, lies ahead of us. Oh, uh, um, that's different. Okay, and there are the moon shards. I wonder if, how we're going to get those. I can see a sheep over there. Uh, you'll notice this platform, it's normally big enough to cover, like, this whole area. Not so much anymore. <laughs> Look at the tiny platform. <laughs> oh, gosh. Uh, I don't think this is really- oh! Oh, okay, I, I see how it is. I was gonna say I didn't think that really made it much harder, but, um... The platform is also quite a bit faster, <laughs> so... <laughs> oh, gosh, yeah, that is hard. Um, if we don't set off the, uh, explodey thingies, we don't have to dodge them. So that's kind of my plan for the first little bit. Ow. Oh, moon. Hello. Um... Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! I can't remember. Uh, I don't think there's a moon by that name in the original game, so I guess I just got something, like, secret-ish? Uh, oh god, there's a potted- a plant pot there. You're supposed to do that whole last bit. Oh my goodness. Can I- uh, ow, capture you to avoid taking damage? Or does it not work that way? Okay, these guys are immune to the sand. Okay, so I'll stay in this guy and grab some moon shards that way. They're a lot more necessary than they are in the base game, by the looks of things. <laughs> and yeah, I shouldn't have needed to damage boost though. If I'd thrown Cappy better, I think I could have captured them without touching the sand first. Unfortunately, I did not throw Cappy better. How are we gonna get that that sheep over to where the sheep herding spot is? That's gonna be really hard. <laughs> oh gosh. Why is there a checkpoint up here? Oh, because it would normally be on the sand. So it was moved up here to be safe, I see. Oh, that's interesting. Hang on, the checkpoint distracted me, I didn't notice where the platforms actually were. Oh, there aren't any! I see how it is, the birds are just standing on nothing. <laughs> yeah, you can make these jumps without too much trouble. Can we do a cappy roll jump? Eh, probably not easily. There we go. Okay, then there's that one. Ah! I guess the platform is smaller than I thought it was. The, the invisible platform, I mean. Okay. I mean, it's a little bit harder. And, you know, I died, so it is... More than a little bit harder, I suppose. Where's it gonna spawn? The same place it normally does. Okay. Come this guy. And yeah, these guys are immune to being hurt by the sand, so if you can find a Moai, they can help you out. Bum, ba -da -bum, ba -da -ba -ba -da, da -da. Yeah! <laughs> Making some good progress here. Last video we managed to get three moons from this kingdom, we already have four, so... We're doing alright. Let's go see how the pyramids changed. Show down on the pyramid. Ah, 
Uh, random aside, this is version 1.1 of Mario Odyssey we're using the mod with. I think Superstar mo mode works with every version, so we could potentially switch it over to version 1.3. Uh, I think we don't want to do that using, uh, like, Nintendo's actual servers for risk of getting the console banned, but I think there are third-party, like, homebrew tools you can use that do roughly the same thing, so... I might look into that, because version 1.3 is much better about loading times, which might make videos a bit, uh, better to watch, basically. Um, I don't think I can do anything over here. Because there's sand everywhere, and there's not nearly as much, like... Hey, Skellux. How you doing? <laughs> oh, there's not nearly as much way to cross the sand as there is elsewhere. I think I probably want to warp over here and then try to get to the pyramid from there. I haven't seen any way to get a Jaxi yet. Normally you'd be able to get a Jaxi on top of the Jaxi ruins and then they would spawn everywhere, but that looks like that's been removed. Probably because that would make it too easy to get across the sand. I don't know how you're going to reach the pyramid. Can we take a bullet over there, or is there too much, like, uh, invisible walls and stuff? Let's have a quick look. Hey, you. No, don't- <laughs> Don't go with the lava! Oh no. Like, I know that this area is surrounded by invisible walls on most sides, I don't know if... Hmm. I can't really see any over there, so maybe that's the way you do it? Let's give it a try. Come here, you. Oh god, it's so far. Uh, I could just damage boost, but I want to find out how you do this. Uh, that is the closest bullet to where we want to be. Can we actually bring the Moai with us? I don't think we can. I think that's why those little blocks are on the side that you can't get rid of. So that you can't just walk the Moai off and then bring it everywhere you want. Since the lava's there, it'll just die if you try to walk off the edge there. Hmm. Oh, hang on. No, we can dig it this way. Here we go. Okay, we have a Moai now. Uh, which lets us walk on most of this desert perfectly safely. A little fiddly to do. I don't know if this is intended, but it works. <laughs> uh, let's go to the oasis first and try to make a checkpoint over there. The oasis, I think, is not sand, so you can walk on it. I think. From what I can remember, anyway. You can't sprint, by the way, if you press the button to go to, like, what would normally be sprint in a lot of different things, it's like a dash button. In, in as a Moai, it just makes you put the sunglasses on, which makes you move slower. Uh, okay, so... The, I assume this is no longer where a moon lives, because, you know, there's, like, sand in that spot, and you'll take damage if you try to ground pound on it. You're really pretty, Cappy. I think I'm stuck over here now. I might need to just walk back and get a fresh Moai. Uh, but we do have another checkpoint open, which is nice. Okay, so we'll bring the Moai towards the pyramid this time. Hang on, let me just move my mouse cursor. There we go. I know you can't see it, but it was like, hanging out in the middle of the screen. So, a little frustrating. Okay, there it is. I don't... Moai is oddly enthusiastic to just walk off the edge like that. Okay, there we go. Now I'm immune to damage, and I can just squeeze my way through here. I have no idea if that's intentional. Like, the way the blocks are placed, it looks like Skellock tried to stop you from doing that, but I can still do it. Like, I've just done it, it's very easy. So maybe it is intentional, it's just a little hidden? I don't know. Okay, so we actually want to go around this side. And yeah, the Moai is immune to this. Moais are not immune to poison. Uh, I mean, they might be, but in the base game they're not. But, like, they're immune to the sand damage because sand damage was added in this game. I don't know what effect the poison will have on them. It might still damage them. It might not. <sighs> the important thing, though, is that we can reach the pyramid. Here it is. 
I guess the entrance is just around here. Yeah, so we can just hop out. Heck, we can just walk in as the Moai. Uh, we'll turn back into Mario when we get in because, yeah, no captures in the game stick among level transitions. Oh, there's no bullet. Okay. Um, normally, it's not too hard to cross this without the bullet, but there's also little uh, cacti on all the platforms that you would use to do that. So, this may be a bit trickier than I was anticipating. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so... Can't even, can't even do a cap bounce. You gotta you got you got toss Cappy to hit them off and then get onto the platform once they've... that one's out of the way, basically. Or do that. I mean, that was damage boosting, which is not intentional. Like, you're not supposed to have the damage boost, but... I'm gonna take it. I wonder how this area has been made harder. Okay, there's a lot more bullets. <laughs> so that's a start. <laughs> Look at them all. Okay, that hasn't changed. There's still a block there that you can use. Ow! Oh, you can crouch here. Ow. Oh god. Oh my god. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. And it'll respawn me back here, of course. Oh no. Yeah, that way didn't work either. This game is hard. <laughs> Oh, look at all those bullets. There's so many. Oh, my goodness. And yeah, um, you get a lot of knockback from taking damage from these cacti, so they can easily just knock you off. I wonder if I can skip it with, like, a cappy roll jump and just get to the other side that way. That would make things easier. Mm, no, too far. Oh, it might make it easier to get over to the platforms uh, in the first place. So let's 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 continue trying Cappy roll jumps and see how we go. <laughs> this game is so hard. It's amazing. <laughs> Oh, there's like these tiny little changes and everything is so much more difficult than it would have been otherwise. There, you need to do basically that. And then grab onto the platform once you've done it. <laughs> I'm gonna have a lot of tries at this because you always respawn at the start of the room. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's it. That's what you need to do. Then you can fly over here, or I guess just jump. I'm surprised that Skellux didn't take out the block, the invisible block here. Uh, not the one on this side, the one, on, one over here that you can use to get up here a little bit more easily. Because it is possible to do without using that block, as you can see. Many bullets. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Okay, I can see a heart there, but I'm pretty sure I'll die if I try to go for it, so let's not. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> I didn't mean to jump. <laughs> oh my god, like. It's impressive how close this is to the original game, and yet how much more heinously difficult it is. There, you have to do it like that. And you're gonna cross here without too much trouble.
Oh god. I'm still not sure what to do with this part. Apart from just damage boost like this. Ow. Okay. Okay, now we will respawn in the next room. So we have a bit of a checkpoint. It doesn't like count as a checkpoint in the game's opinion of what checkpoints are, but it counts as a checkpoint for our purposes, so we'll be okay. Uh, this room looks... ow. I was gonna say it looks unchanged and should be easy, but then I died, so... Okay, those are a bit faster. It's not really that much harder. Oh, hello. That's different. How am I supposed to get over there? Okay, there's a pipe on that side. Is there like a hidden pipe I can use to... Do I need to get into that one that the enemies are coming out of? I could maybe do that. It looks a bit high. Hmm. Oh, I can't... Uh, I'll, I'll come back to it. I'll come back to it. <laughs> oh god. Oh, right, 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 right. Yeah, crouching on a pipe. I have a lot of experience with crouching on 2D pipes and accidentally going through them when I don't mean to. <laughs> uh, I think there's just one bullet here in the base game instead of like three separate cannons. Uh, what's actually different here? Mm, that looks about the same. Uh, this is different. What's this thing? Okay. Oh, you want me to use the tallest bullet? I see. That's why there's bullets at different heights. Ow. There, I get this really high up one. Then I can go around here and hit that. And it's just a regular heart. In the base game, that's a life up heart. Ah, oh, my goodness gracious, this is quite a game. <laughs> yeah, we'll respawn here, so no big deal. Okay, so we'll just do we'll just do things like basically the normal way. Just do that. Uh, those platforms are a lot faster than they would be in the base game. Ow! There's a little prank there. <laughs> I suppose you have to you have to like guess it's gonna be there and throw your hat at the right time, but I didn't guess. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah. This moon is normally here. Uh it's just it doesn't have a booby trap when you come in. Okay, let's try to cross this without a bullet. That's not even part of the challenge, that's just the base game. <laughs> oh, jeez. This is just a real hard game, y'all. I think this lip is new, actually. Oh, so you can't bring a bullet from the bottom layer because this lip will stop you. Interesting. Ow. I have no idea how to avoid taking damage from that. <laughs> okay, so can I get a bullet from higher up and use one of them? For example, this one? The answer is yes, but it's trickier. Okay, this part looks the same as normal. These cacti are the normal ones, that hasn't changed. Uh, that life up heart, that's a normal heart, not a life up heart. That normal heart there is the same as it normally is. You don't get a life up heart here, there's just one hidden in the room before. Let's see how this fight has changed. We have to fight Harriet here. I assume this will be like, end of game Harriet rather than intro Harriet. Okay, 
Okay, this looks pretty standard so far. Hmm, still standard. She might take more than three hits, we'll see. It's a little harder to predict her movements. I don't know, maybe? It seems more or less normal. Okay, I think that was a regular Harriet fight. I'm not sure Skellox actually changed anything. That's interesting. Anyway, we got the bananas. <laughs> okay, that'll warp us back to the Odyssey in order to take us to the nighttime version of the stage. <sighs> Also, there goes the pyramid. It's floating now. The hole in the desert. I mean, the brutal didn't really slow us down. That was probably the easiest part. Compared to like everything else we just had to go through, that was very easy. Uh, I'm gonna warp over... What are we doing for moons? We need one, two, three... One, two, three, four, five more. So, we could finish the story and get two extra moons somewhere. I do want to see what they've done with, uh, the hole in the desert area. So... Can we get a Jaxi now? Hello. Sure. Okay, we can still use a Jaxi normally. This doesn't feel any different. The Jaxi controls are still just all over the place. <laughs> uh, that means we can cross the desert fairly safely. Ow. That might be the wrong cactus. There's one around here that you need to move in order to get a moon, but I don't know which one it is. I assume the walking the desert Cooper is going to be somewhere else because you can't touch the sand without dying. <laughs> that one? No, that's just a regular cactus. I wonder why these guys aren't hurt by walking on the sand like we are. Doesn't seem fair. I want to hit the checkpoint over here as well, if we can. We can, there we go. Ow! Let's see how this was changed. Okay, there's like blocks in the way? Also, you can't get onto the ceiling anymore. What are you supposed to do here then? You might remember in the base game, you can get onto the ceiling up there and skip the whole maze without any trouble. Hmm, I wonder what you're intended to do then. I mean, you can break those blocks, obviously, but that's going to kill you in the process, right? Oh, hang on. Ugh. I think you can stand in the little hole and then jump from there. Oh, Skellux. You sure are a Skellux. Oh, 
Ah, uh, maybe, maybe. The other thing I can think of is there are two bullets. Maybe you need to blow one up and then capture the other one to keep going. But that sounds wild. Entirely possible that's what you're supposed to do, though. Yeah, I don't think you can stand in there. I think you need to capture another bullet. Oh, wow. <laughs> this sure is a game. Oops. Ah. I'm trying to stay up long enough for a bullet to arrive, but it's tricky. <laughs> hmm. It'd be nice if I could just target them and then uncapture, but I don't think it works that way. Let me just give it a try. Oh, maybe. It does work that way. Okay. 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 That's much easier. Uh. We'll just see what I can do now. I bet I needed those Goombas for something. Okay, I can see some invisible platforms. Just. Like, like you know, the sort of semi-translucent-y kind of ones. That looks way too far for me to cross. Um... I can't turn the camera around to look back at the goom at the not the goombas, the other things. Bullets. The bullet bills to see where they are, unfortunately. And I can't get into the ceiling here either. There's a ceiling covering the entire place. Which makes sense. God, look how far that is. Let's give it a quick try with just a cappy roll jump, but I'm guessing that won't work. Yeah, it's it's way too far for a cappy roll jump. I am very impressed. <laughs> okay, so my thinking is we need to preserve those uh that goom those goombas and make like a tower for some reason. I don't know why though. I'm not sure what that's gonna achieve. Okay, we're at a half hour, so I'm gonna call it here. Next time, I'll probably be working on this puzzle again, or possibly just going down to the hole in the desert and seeing how that's changed. I continue to be very impressed with how this game has adjusted things just slightly to make it incredibly hard. It's it's very cool. Um, I would like 100% recommend playing this if you have the opportunity. Uh, you pretty much need a hacked switch. It, it does run in things like Yuzu and, and Ryujinx, I think I mentioned, but the performance is... It, it's not good enough to be practical. Uh, even though it's very impressive that the emulators exist, you, you're gonna have a much better experience if you hack a Switch and play it on that. <sighs> but yeah, so that was uh, a bunch of extra moons in this here kingdom. Can I stand here safely? Yeah, because it's not sand, it's grass. I'm guessing I can't do much here until I've actually... Uh, made it daytime again and melted this ice. And I can't see the musical note that- oh, there it is. I bet it's been changed. Let's have a quick look at this before I finish the video since I'm right here. Yep, that's a lot harder. Yeah, there's one on every one of these trees. So you have to cross all of the trees. That is uh, quite a bit harder. <laughs> hey, buddy. Where'd the bird go? There. Ah, dang it. I think the bird paths have probably been adjusted. I don't know if it makes it more difficult or... Looks like this one is st more or less staying where they are. Maybe not though. It looks like they're leaving now. Dang it. 
I'm back, bud. I need the moon you carry. Oh, jeez. Okay, well, that's it for now. Um, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Next time, I might take on this puzzle over here again, or I might just go down in the hole in the desert and see what that's about. I'm, I am curious to see what uh, Skellux has done. If it's like a don't touch the ice kind of thing, like the ice hurts you, then I have done that before. So we'll see how we go. <laughs> oh, anyway, thank you for watching. Bye. <laughs>